Hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. doing? It's so good to see each and every one of y'all. I'm glad y'all are here because I can really use y'all's help. Have you ever heard of a riddle? A riddle is, how would I put this, a question that makes my head hurt. For example, what is something that gets wet while it dries? I'll give you some time to think on that one. A towel! Isn't that crazy? I love riddles, but I tell you what, it sure does get confusing. Now I got some riddles here, and if I can complete all these riddles, then I get a piece of candy. So I gotta figure these out, and I need your help. I only have three left. Can you help me? Great! Number one, what has four legs but one foot? Hmm, that's a tough one. I had a pet dog with just one foot one time. It tripped a lot. I don't think that's what it's talking about. I mean, what thing has four legs but only one foot? Four legs, four legs. A chair? Chairs don't have feet. Or do they? No, they don't. What about a bed? They have four legs, do they have a foot? Wait, they do! The end of the bed is called the foot of the bed! We did it! We solved the riddle! All right, time for number two. What has many keys, but can't open a door? What? Huh, this is a toughie. I think cats and dogs open doors, and they don't have keys. Unless you're talking about the key to happiness, of course. Hmm, wait, pianos. Pianos have keys. As far as I know, I've never seen a piano open a door. Yes, we got it again. All right, final riddle, and then I'm on my way to Canada Town. Population one, me, I'm the one. What fills up the room, but takes up no space? What? That makes no sense. How can you fill up a room but take up no space? Ow, my head hurts. Hey, Carl. Hey, Cassie. I could really use your help. Funny, I was about to say the same exact thing. Really? Yeah, I can't open this bottle. Good thing you came to me. I'm the strongest person here. I don't think so. You're not stronger than me. Wanna bet? Let's arm wrestle. Okay. Ow! Okay, point taken. Okay, well, let me see if I can open it. Ah! Three! Okay, haha. <laughs> Easy peasy. Lemons. Thanks, Carl. So what can I help you with? This riddle. I can't figure it out. What fills up the room but takes up no space? Light. What? Light. Light fills up the room but takes up no space. How'd you get that so fast? That's taking me forever. Well, just like you helped me with the bottle, I can help you with the riddle. We're each good and helpful at different things. I guess you're right. Reminds me of the stuff I read in the Bible this morning. Which part? 1 Corinthians 12. It talks about how everyone who follows God are like parts of a body. Body? What body? Well, the body of Christ. That's what the Bible says about the church. We're all parts of the same body. Oh, I get it now. So each of us are a part of the body and each of us can help others. Exactly. But it also talks about how we all have a purpose. Like a gift. That's like what we talked about last week. Yep, it's pretty cool. We all need each other, I guess. You think so? Of course! Imagine if the feet told the rest of the body, Hey! I don't need you! And how would the body move? How would the feet get used if they didn't have the legs and the brain to help them move? I guess you're right. I suppose it's hard sometimes because sometimes I wish I had other spiritual gifts. What do you mean? Well, I look at other people and I see the way that they serve, the way they encourage each other, and sometimes I wish I had that spiritual gift instead of mine. But Cassie, that's the cool thing. Just like those people have different spiritual gifts, so do you. The body of Christ isn't complete if you don't do your part. You think people actually need my spiritual gift for help? Yes! <laughs> of course! Look at what you just did with that riddle. I would have never figured that out without you. Really? Yes! Really, really! God's given us our gifts for a purpose and a reason. And everyone's gifts look different, and that's the point. We don't need everyone to have the same spiritual gifts. I mean, I don't need four legs like a bed. Although that would be kind of cool. I guess that's true. I love that God uses my gifts to help others. And I love that you just said our big idea! Cassie, do you know what this means? I mean, as soon as we go to our big idea confetti thing, we're gonna say, this is our big idea, count down for three, and we're all gonna say it together. Watch. Today's big idea is God uses my gifts to help others. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? One. Two. Three. God, God uses, uses my gifts to help others. Yes! Yeah, yeah.
gifted. I'm gifted. You're gifted. Andy's gifted. All you kids are gifted. And big kids. And adults. That's what I meant by big kids. Thanks, Carl, for helping me understand. Anytime, Cassie. All I ask in return is that I can taste your barbecue sauce. Oh, no, that's not barbecue sauce. That's spicy sauce. Mommy. Uh, uh, it's hot. Cassie, this is the worst barbecue sauce I've ever had in my life. Ah, uh, well. Have a good week, kids. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV.